Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Malta Besiege 1940 to 1942. It is a solitaire game designed by Steve Carey, published by Worthington Publishing. And this is a uh, deluxe edition, I believe this was on Kickstarter, and this is in a sleeve. So I can't tell you anything except there's a map on the back and a barcode that is clearly in a sleeve. So we're going to have to crack it open to find out together. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Okay, so in general, I'm not a fan of box sleeves. They can be very pretty in some, some cases, but in general, I find them to be useless. Look at that pretty cool effect there. Uh, I know people like them because they hold the, the uh, can hold the box closed when it's on the shelf or in transport. But I've just never really had much problem with the, the box is just flying open, so. But some people like them. So now we've got this like really gorgeous artwork here. Whereas here we just had the, the uh, gallantry metal. Here we have you know, beautiful historic artwork. So let's take a look at back here, what we got. This is a solo only game. So it is high solitaire suitability, medium game complexity, right in the middle, about 50%. And doesn't tell you much about it. Now let's see, Balta Besieged is a solitaire game covering the pivotal World War II years in the often overlooked battle for the Mediterranean. You are placed in the role of the Commonwealth commander in the theater and must utilize every resource at your disposal to fend off unrelenting Axis attacks in order to ensure the survival of the island of Malta. The George Cross was awarded to the island of Malta by King George VI so as to bear witness to the heroism and devotion of its people during the Great Siege. The George Cross was incorporated into the flag of Malta beginning in 1943 and remains on the current design of the flag. So here we go. Very nice, thick, sturdy box. All right. So the first thing we have here is the Malta log book. And this is, even though it's got a cover on it, it's a pad essentially of uh, results sheets for how you played. Commonwealth defeat, Commonwealth win, what happened, various various uh, events that may have occurred in notes. So you get a nice little pad of that. They've included things like this now in a lot of their recent releases. It's very nice. And then we have one sheet of counters. So from the look of it, I'm thinking this may have some similarity to the States of Siege series. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. So we have one sheet of pre-rounded counters. Very thick quality. We've got die roll modifier cards, Cunningham's available, supply loss, Spitfires are ready, uh, various uh, tokens for El Alamein, Tobruk, Malta, military supply, morale, Rommel's situation. So one half sheet of counters. And then we've got a rule book, 20 page rule book, Malta Besiege, uh, Struggle between the British Commonwealth, the Allies, and Axis forces of Germany and Italy in the Mediterranean theater. You must maintain the beleaguered island of Malta while supporting Allied attempts to indirect, interdict the Axis war and supply efforts in the Mediterranean, uh, which will significantly affect the North Africa campaign as well through various card plays, key events, and a variety of constant decision points you'll maneuver. So this does sound very, very similar to States of Siege, which I don't know if since, I don't know, since Victory Point Games is no longer around as a, as a publishing entity and their games are being now being recaptured, that makes sense. I don't know if they can be called States of Siege anymore. Uh, so looking at the rule book, very large print, full color, kind of a glossy finish on the paper, but very easy to read otherwise. Yeah, it's 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 states of siege. The only reason I'm saying that I'm going to call it that, even though it's probably not officially under that banner. Uh, player actions: each event card specifies the number of actions conferred on you. The allied player use actions to confront situations and crises evolving on the map. And the cards are the heart of this. So uh, it does definitely clear that it has its uh, uh, DNA is firmly firmly in the states of siege series. All right, so we have our. Just are various rules. Again, it's very large print, so even though it's 20 pages, it's not really 20 pages. 
and then the rules actually go through page 15 and then you get into the optional rules on 15 and a half. So yeah, uh, stack all the cards historically in a certain order, in a single deck in ascending order, so you'll play it in order of uh, the way history actually happened. That's very definitely state of CG. Example of play, and then you go into the example of play on page 16. So, and that takes us through to page 18. And then we have designer notes, rules, questions. We would love to hear from you. Please frame your question as a yes or no and send it to Worthington Publishing at gmail.com. Game design Steve Carey, David Kennedy, proofreader, original playtesters, uh, board design Tim Allen, who was definitely involved with Victory Point Games long, long, long ago. Oh, uh, let's see in the designer's notes if it's referenced here. Uh, we Must Tell the Emperor was published by Victory Point Games, and that's by the same designer, and that was in that States of Siege milieu. That is our 20 page rule book. And then here we have a convoy display chart, and then just a nice little graphic here on the back. Single sided, obviously. Uh, well, double sided, excuse me, one page uh, convoy display will sit on the table and then we've got our mounted map it's a smaller map uh, two by two two panels by two panels so we don't want to break it here there we go get it, get it open correctly so it's about a let's see a 22 by 17 map and we'll zoom out take a look at it I like the bright colors on it the, the Mediterranean really pops here but yeah definitely got the Got the different tracks, everything heading into Fortress Malta. All these different colored tracks. You got the green track, the red track, the Luftwaffe, the Regia Aeronautica, the Regia Marina. Uh, the black track is just the black track because it doesn't say have a name. North Africa. Okay, and then you got a secondary track here going from Tripoli down here to El Alamein, Alexandria, and to Cairo. Automatic defeat. So you gotta manage two tracks. You get all the ones coming at you, and then you get this one over here off to the side. So that's an interesting, interesting twist. So pretty map, very nice. Military track, supply track, morale track. Convoy attack hit scored. And then you get one of Worthington's now famous trays in the bottom of the box. You get a lid, and then one of these divider trays that let you just store material sometimes it's overkill because like in this game there's not a lot of counters so you're gonna put them all in a bag you got a baggie of bags here and then you get one red die it was one every time go three that time and then you've got your event cards and the event cards have a linen finish to them uh, it's kind of a faux linen finish it's not really textured but they're kind of curling because they weren't wrapped they're in a they're in like one of those cellophane baggies more than a than actually wrap tight, so you're gonna probably have to work on those or sleeve them, possibly. Um, but these are the cards you're gonna draw. You got different, you got the Italian, you got a Germany track, and you got a blue deck here. Well, I should say that I'm saying Italian and German. It's actually just three different phases, and they will go in a certain order. And if you play them in order, then you'll go in historical order. And you draw the card, it gives you the number of actions, tells you what happens on the pay, on the uh, on the board, what, what markers to update, and then you get to take your actions. So you get like one action, two actions, three actions per turn, you know, that turn. So the full, full game is going to go through all 49 of these cards. Um, so that's pretty neat. Definitely States of Siege. So... If you are to pick up a copy of Malta Besieged, a solitaire game, 1940 to 1942, you're going to get that nice tray, the deck of event action cards, one die, you actually roll a five, baggy of bags, store your counters in, and store that in there somehow. Oh, let's take it out. Let's do that. Oh, there it is. Isn't that one? And, no, it doesn't. Get a little cover to protect everything that's in there. You can get that very nice mounted map that we saw. You're going to get an additional convoy display track and a 20 page rule book. 
the baggie of bags. We'll put those on top there for now. One sheet of counters, very low counter density game, really markers. And then the logbook pad of uh, log sheets to store your success or failure at Malta Besiege, 1940 to 1942. Designed by Steve Carey, published by Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!